say you will never leave me. Sorry, I've just been listening to the Indigo Sunsets uh, brand new album called The Comeback, and that song's in my head. How are we? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Your Music Live here on Studio Live today for yet another week. This is uh, this is one of my favourite times of the week because I get to sit here, listen to a bunch of super cool tunes, and uh, yeah, just hang out with a wonderful community here on Studio Live today. I hope you are doing well and having a good week and it's the start of the weekend well it's the weekend already if you're here in australia because uh it is a saturday morning very early on your saturday morning and uh we are going to get kicking off get kicking off great grammar pete you're really doing well we are going to kick off in just a moment with uh, some of your music uh live here on your music live hence the name of the show if it's your first time here though you might be thinking, who's this clown and what is he doing? Uh, well, my name is Pete. For starters, stop being so aggressive. I'm not that much of a clown. Uh, this is uh, Studio Live Today, uh, where I try, my passion, my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. We do that through tips, tricks, tutorial videos and live shows. And this is one of those live shows that we do. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of really cool stuff going on here uh, today. And uh, we want to uh, we want to get kicked off uh, with uh, with some Indigo Sunsets because I did uh, I did mention that I'm going to choose I'm just going to choose a random song. Uh, I know I was playing I was playing Never Leave Me There, but I'm actually going to go uh, I'm going to go back to uh, to one of the OGs and one of the songs that uh, I really enjoy that I heard uh, that we heard here on the show quite a while ago back in July. Uh, this was a tune uh, that uh, Stu and Andy put out there. It is a tune called Raging Waterfall and we're going to give it a spin to get everyone rocking and rolling and starting here uh, on Your Music Live. So uh, let's bring up the screen, let's hit the play button and let's rock out with some indigo sunsets with Raging Waterfall here on Your Music Live. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this place before It feels so familiar now I'm not sure The windows all steam up high and dry You know, uh, it sounded like there was a guitar solo coming in there. You know, I always turn down guitar solos. That's just how we roll around here. Uh, yes, it is a very nice 90s vibe. Got a lot of width and depth to the melody. And we can play it in here in StreamYard in stereo for the first time. So uh, I've had to use Restream lately. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm rocking out with, with the stereo StreamYard here for a while. And uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> 
This is just awesome. And who would want to have their song played after this? Ah, oh, I know. And uh, an R.I.P. guitar solo. I know. I'm sorry. I do like guitar solos. I just also like to uh, to turn them down. Uh, hello. Who else have we got here? I'd better say g'day to some of the folks we have here. A Walt Music. Hello to you. Tom Rochelle's here. We said uh, g'day. SM Borthwick with there. Auntie G is here. We've got Desil at Morning 1000 Watts. Hello to you. BTS. We've said g'day. Jared Voss. Uh, nice chill opener. Yeah, I know. I've had that song in my head and I was like, oh, do I play like a rockin' tune? No, we'll play something. We'll play something a bit chill to get it started and agree, Tom. Uh, great song. Said before, but it should be said again. And uh, you can actually join uh, Stu and Andy. A bit of a bit of a shameless plug here. Well, not for me. A uh, shameless plug for Stu and Andy. They are doing a premiere of their new album. Uh, let me just bring it up here so you can see where it's at and... Uh, well, uh, we'll throw it there in the chat as well. But uh, yeah, just search Indigo Sunsets and you'll find this one here. We've got the nice pink neon going on there. So this is their premiere of their brand new album. And uh, it'll be easy for you to find because tomorrow, right after Home Studio Q&A, we'll do our hour Q&A show. We'll jump straight into this one, which will be the live album launch. They've uh, pre-recorded all the songs and a little bit in between. Um, I don't know if it was entirely my idea, but I said to the boys, you might want to do like a little bit of a, a bit of a teaser, like your own MTV show where you talk a bit about the tunes and uh, folks can come along. You can chat live and you can listen together to the whole album. So that should be a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, that's uh, Again, that, that, I like the Indigo Sunsets, but we've got so much more music to get through here today. So why don't we continue kicking on here and uh, because I saw this person here in the chat and they sent me an email during the week, a Walt Music uh, says, hi Pete, uh, I am new to this stuff can you play one of my songs perhaps, I'm a garage band recorder and do music videos with MS PowerPoint uh, is my hobby so be merciful, I'm always merciful uh, but I'd like to have some feedback to improve myself, I like your channel though, here are some here are links to the songs with the Eclipse and we've got a YouTube link here so let's copy this one we will bring it on over and paste it here into into the browser. We'll bring up the window, and then uh, we will have a bit of a chat afterwards and see how everyone's going, because I know I've probably missed a bunch of people in the chat, so I apologise. Uh, but let's take a listen to this one. It is from uh, from a Walt, a Walt Music, and uh, what is the name of the track? Uh, collaboration Proposal. I don't know if that's the name of the track or a proposal, but uh, let's hit play on this one and take a listen to a Walt Music here on Your Music Live. <laughs> that yes i agree uh it was a very very cool very nice guitar tone there cool groove cool things going on there 
Oh, we're having we're having a chilled start to the day here. Often, uh, often I come on here and we start just rocking out, but we're just a little bit chilled. Uh, Dan Eckberg, hello to you. Hello to Russ. Uh, hello to Michael. Yes, very, very good. Nice chill track and the video with all the artist info. That was so cool. I agree. That was really, really nicely done. Um, yeah, thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah, if I, uh, in terms of feedback or review, um, yeah, I. In case you're new to the show, what I normally do here is it's less about critique and it's more about uh, finding something that either I say, yeah, that's really good, continue doing that, or maybe there's one thing that I can say, oh, if you try this, this may improve the track. With that one, there wasn't much that I could think to improve it. It was really mellow, nicely mixed. I love the guitar. <clears throat> love the delay effects and the reverb on that guitar. So the delay in particular. And yeah, the stereo width that you had on there. And hopefully, because we can do stereo here on StreamYard, you got uh, you got the stereo width uh, of that one going on there. So uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And as Ani G says, uh, are you new to this? Impressive. I agree. If, that, if that's new to it, and that's you kicking off. And if that is legitimately a collaboration proposal, then uh, yeah, I would love to see what happens with that maybe there is someone here within the studio live today community that would like to collaborate maybe you can be the next uh the next indigo sunsets or the next uh, saigon slick and boston bard we've had a bunch of folks uh, okay i don't i don't take credit for the indigo, indigo sunsets those boys were playing together for years before this but uh yeah the there have been a few really cool collaborations uh, that have happened over at the garage band users facebook group and the create record release facebook group uh but yeah i agree heck of a start we've had a couple of Pretty darn awesome tracks. So let's uh, let's continue on there um, and uh, and play another one. I'm just gonna make sure everything's in in the place where I put the things. The the, the things. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, righty dokey. Now I've seen because I saw Sean Chandler here in the list uh, here in the the chat. And I get his name right. What did I call you last time, Sean? I can't remember. But uh, but Patrick has sent me through uh, the latest Chandler Brothers tune. It says, hello, Peach. Uh, Chandler Brothers have a new track out for consideration to be played on Your Music Live. From the beginning, was written and performed by brother Sean. Sean. <laughs> production, mixing and mastering was my role in the project. We're still working on video production and final release to music stores and streaming sites. The slaps.com link is below. We've got a slaps link sighting here. We, you know we love, uh, we love us some slaps. If you don't know about slaps.com, I'll talk about that in a moment because it is a very cool site, a very good way to share your music and to uh, to get yourself out there. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's bring this sucker up. This is the Chandler Brothers and uh, their new tune called From the Beginning. Let's turn it up loud and play it live here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Chandler Brothers, yeah, I, I too, I can hear some sax in there. Maybe there is a sax solo coming up. 
who knows? Uh, you know, I cut off solos anyway. But yeah, it, apparently it is. It's it's the chill version of your music life. Sometimes I don't, I never know what we're going to play here. By the way, I just hit the play button. It's up to you folks what you submit and what we play here. Uh, but yeah, I, I just I just go bang and uh, whatever comes out comes out. But yeah, it does nice bouncy walk feel to it. Uh, hello, John Frank song. So I hope you're doing well. But yeah, really nice. Uh, a little psychedelic. Agree with that one. Very nice work from uh, from Sean and Patrick there. Uh, another beautifully mixed track, says S.M. Borthwick. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, love the intro. So smooth. We've got to give it some uh, give it some fire. And if you're not over on uh, over on Slaps, we'll save it too. Then, uh, yeah, head to slaps.com and join up and you'll notice that there's a bunch of groups you can join. So there's GarageBand, there's Create, Record, Release, and there's Your Music Live. And you can categorize your songs uh, and uh, put them in those groups. And that's one of the ways... I find songs, except I get so many emails each week at the moment that I haven't even been able to go into Slap, so I'm having to be going off the emails every week. But uh, yes, uh, I will get back to doing that. Once I run out of emailed songs, uh, we'll go back to doing that and agree. Very chilled again, uh, once again. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying that. Like I said, three three chill tracks. Uh, let's see what we've got coming up next. Now, I think I'm going to search for this one uh, over here because... There was a an artist that I missed a bunch of times, and I they sent me their email a, a heap of times, and uh, I just didn't play them. This is a song timber track uh, that they sent me way back when, and uh, I I just didn't play it, and I don't know why. So I am now playing it. It is Temple of the Martyrs, uh, and it's uh, their song timber tune. So let's uh, let's grab this and bring it up over here. Uh, am I still displaying the screen? I've got so many windows going on. Yes, I am. So we'll uh, we'll pause it so that we can talk through this one. Uh, so this is I knew you better. I know you better than you do. And this is Templo dos Martyrs. And uh, yeah, I, I heard this tune really early on. It was really really cool. Um, and it was so early in Song Temper. It was the sixth of sixth September, sixth of Song Temper, that it just slipped through the tracks and we didn't actually hear it. And I didn't ever play it. So my apologies, my double apologies that it's taken me till middle of October to actually play this. Oh, it started to actually play this track we'll pause it and take it back to the beginning so we can actually hear the start of the song uh so let's uh come on youtube you don't need to auto play oh my goodness every time you go back to the start it auto plays all right let's turn up the volume since it wants to play and uh take a listen to templos dos martyrs with i know you better than you do What a cool rock pop 80s, 90s vibe going on there. Uh, it was worth the wait, wasn't it? So once again, my apologies to uh, Templos del Martyrs. Dos, Templos dos Martyrs. Uh, but yeah, yeah, how cool is that? They were so quick in Song Tempo, like six days in, and they're releasing that song. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Hints of Echo and the Bunny Men. Yeah, absolutely. And it was a fun song, a bit of Cure-like, uh, says Dan Eckberg. Um, has an 80s rock vibe to it. Very sweet. Uh, indeed, indeed. 
indeed. Uh, I'd pay good money to see this live. You'd pay 10 quid? Is that good money? Maybe. Uh, yeah, live the 80s indie vibe there. I realised, by the way, I didn't I, I didn't give much feedback. I, I get into this groove. If I don't give you feedback, it just means I'm rocking out to your song. Uh, so apologies. And same to, to Sean and to Patrick. Yeah, everyone else kind of said it for me, that it was just a really good song, really lush tones, really nice lyrics, really well present, presented and produced. And uh, the same for our friends here at Templos Dos... Oh. Can't say the word. <laughs> Templo dos Martes. Very, very cool. Uh, yes, well, well crafted tune indeed. Hello, Peter Jacobs. I don't know if I've seen your name on the chat here before. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, and yeah, very, very nice one there. Uh, and I liked. Uh, so, so Jade, yeah, you, you are spot on. The standard music coming out of this community is amazing. And uh, I, I was talking about this with a few folks. I know Jade uh, interviewed Stu and Andy on her show yesterday and uh, was talking about the same sort of thing, that the quality and the standard of music being produced in home studios by home studio creators is actually just ridiculous at the moment. Like, it's, it's blowing me away what people can actually put out there. And I think it's testament to the fact that uh, and uh, again, Jay was mentioning this yesterday, that the professionals, and I use the term loosely because you know, professional just means you get paid to do something, right? So as soon as, as soon as you sell your first song on iTunes, you're a professional. But those in the more traditional side of music kind of hit this whole situation in the world and went, ah, hands in the air, don't know what to do. If I don't have a producer, if I don't have a studio, if I don't have my, my company doing the work, if I can't tour, what do I do? Whereas the rest of us went, wait a minute, you saying I can't leave my home? You saying I can't leave my home studio for a couple of weeks, months, a year? Well, I better get cracking and recording, right? And that's what everybody did. And uh, man, the the quality coming out has just been overwhelming, and the quantity and quality has been overwhelming. So, keep on sharing, keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, Thousand Watts says I haven't heard a bad song for the whole time I've watched these streams, and that's a really good point too because I haven't either. I've heard songs that I really dig. I've heard songs that aren't my style, but I can totally appreciate, and everything in between. So, and that's the thing. Good bad, yes, no, up, down, black, white. None of these things matter in music production and in much in life. People get very confused between opinion and fact. And a song can be fact. There's really no factually good songs. Like what, what is a factually good song? I don't know. It all comes down to your opinion. I wrote a song about it, in fact, about your opinion. All righty, let's, uh, let's kick on. Uh, I'm, I'm going kind of in order of who I've been seeing around, so I'm jumping all over the, plot, over the place, but I better actually uh, make sure that I'm putting things in, uh, in the played section here. Uh, but I have seen my buddy Russ here in the chat. So he has sent me a track here, more dub. Oh, okay, this might wake us up. Uh, Russ says, hi, Pete. I thought uh, I would send you this track I'd done earlier in the year in lockdown. Speaking of lockdown, exploring something different to take me out of my comfort zone. Bit of dub, all on the iPad Air 1. There you go. Uh, thanks for your great channel. No, thank you for your contributions. Thank you very much for your kind donation. Well, contribution. <laughs> Let's bring this one up and uh, take a listen. This is our buddy, Russ. We'll make sure that SoundCloud pauses it. More dub. Look at that. And Russ, I love, I love the work that Russ does with his cover art here as well. So, uh, Russ, I think you've only just started sharing... <laughs> Come on, SoundCloud. Oh, SoundCloud, you're adorable. Um, yeah, Russ has only just sort of started sharing, at least with me, and uh, in probably the last sort of four or five weeks. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's kick in and let's uh, let's listen to some more dub, shall we? There's not enough dub in the world, so let's hit some dub. Hit it hard, Russ here on Your Music Live. Thank you. 
there you go. More dub. There needs to be more dub in the world? Surely, surely. Oh, righty dokey. How cool. How cool is that? Awesome stuff indeed. Awesome stuff needs to be a theme for a 70s detective show. Yeah. Stiff, stiff, low, and G I can't think of any 70s names that I would put out there. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, I agree. I agree. Um, this is quality. I know. Just we're, we're all over the place, but in a really good way. Late night drive music. Yeah. I can imagine that, yeah, the 70s cop show or like late night driving along, like a scene in the dark streets of Los Angeles where like a Johnny Depp or style character is driving along after taking a whole bunch of cocaine, most likely. Sorry, sorry, YouTube. I didn't, I didn't mean to say the C word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I ticked a box saying that I wouldn't use, I wouldn't uh, mention anything about violence and drugs and things, but I think that's, uh, that's okay. Uh, so very, very cool. Very nicely done. Good work there. Russ, did I put it in the list? I did not. So we will come over here and we'll put it in the list. Russ, and that was more dub. Uh, if uh, you can let me know, make sure that the audio and video quality is coming through here okay. I'm back on my old faithful stream yard and it seems at my end everything is looking, sounding, feeling good, especially when I have wonderful folks like the one and only Bubba who likes to drop in here and get the party started with our live streams this weekend with a donation here of 19.99 Yankee Bucks, which is very, very generous. And I do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, no, no pressure to anyone. Uh, but this show is brought to you by me <laughs> and Studio Live today. In fact, let's make it, let's make it brought to you by the, uh, the email list today. I'll be a proper, proper YouTube online marketer person and encourage you to join my mailing list because I don't often talk about it, but it's a pretty cool way to keep in touch touch and keep up to date with everything that's going on here on the channel. Uh, I do a, I don't spam you, I just do one month, um, weekly, one weekly newsletter every week. That's usually when a weekly newsletter comes out. It's usually out by now, but I've delayed it because I did actually want to mention it here on the show today. So if you are not already on the mailing list, head over to studiolivetoday.com. A little pop-up will come up, slam your email address in there. I don't ask for any other details. I don't even ask your name. I just ask for your email address and then you'll be on the list and you'll be in the know. And every week, uh, you'll find out what uh, what has gone on in the last week, some of the highlights from the channel. I normally do a gear of the week review, and uh, we also have the uh, the live shows. So you'll get the links to all the live shows, except this one, because it's coming out after this show this weekend. So uh, do head on over to the, the website. That helps me out, and that helps me able to keep you in touch, and you won't miss any of the shows that are going on around here. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, thank you to Russ. I think we've said a lot of nice things about that. Um Cool. Let's uh, let's continue on. Oh, there you go. Got, uh, Autism was listening to an interview with me yesterday. Yeah, I've, I've kind of interviewed a lot of folks in the community, and that's a good uh, segue that I've got an interview coming up next weekend uh, with the one and only S.M. Borthwick. So uh, watch out for that one. That'll be hitting the airwaves live uh, next week straight after Home Studio q and I'm kind of doing a lot of these things straight after the Q&A show. So this week, uh, again, you've got uh, Andy and Stu doing their premiere, which we can all jump over to straight after the Q&A show and then uh, next week yes we will go uh, we've got SM Borthwick talking about his production and how he creates music in garage band let's uh let's continue I've seen this gentleman in the in the uh, in the list in the list in the in the chat here uh, so we'll bring this one up this is Eric movie buff uh, now I don't have a lot of info about this so Eric if you're in the chat and you want to provide us with some info please feel free but we'll bring up we'll bring up the link here uh, yes there you go it's up it's up to you we'll bring up the link here and this is called uh, money like Sparta featuring juicy Jack we'll bring up the uh, bring up the this one here and uh, we will hit the play button on this one let's take a listen this is Eric movie buff uh, are you a movie buff or is that a nickname uh, I'd like to know more about that now I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued I'm not a movie buff. I do like movies, uh, but I wouldn't call myself a buff of anything. Let's hit play on this one and take a listen here on Your Music Live. Madness. This is Sparta! Yo, I got hearts for the dollar signs, like Mr. Krabs at closing time. 
Like once we built an empire, you can bend the knee and call me sire. Take care of my family like Mr. Brew. I've been making racks in my back cave, fighting crime. I say those bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cause I'm like Sparta, Sparta, my like Sparta, like James Brown. Cause I'm like Sparta, my like Sparta, my like Sparta, my like Sparta, cause I'm like Sparta. Cause I'm like, cause I'm like, cause I'm like, let me fill your ears, puppy, I'm a Yumi Man, you draw the band romance, now you're looking to me Look at me, I'm the producer of Teen Titans Go Sit down, eat your popcorn, and watch the money flow Wreck! Uncle Sam tried to take me down, but I know he's ratchet Syndrome, I build from scratch, I fix it up, I pass it Tony will be making racks, the king of the Avengers I'll be packing up the slack very nicely done. You got a cool beat in there. Uh, as uh, Mark says here, you got some cool samples in there. And you got a heck of a lot more flow than I have. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I struggle to produce any music like that. People, I, I have tried a couple of sort of hip hop style songs, but I've got much respect for people who can write rhymes, perform rhymes, actually have some sort of flow and some sort of groove to what they're actually saying and tell a story at the same time as producing music. So, uh, well done. Uh, yeah, uh, now I see where your username comes from. There you go. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we do. We have a lot of a uh, lot of variety coming over here. Uh, Ani G, you've nailed it here. One of the cool things is you have no idea what music comes next. Did not expect this. Yeah, we've gone from chill. We've gone to rock. We've gone to sort of some dub and uh, some some dance hall. And now we've gone with, uh, with a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of trap. So uh, there you go. Um, thank you. Yeah, uh, exactly. A, a very fun track. Nicely done. Thank you for sharing. Welcome to the community. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy the time here. Let's, uh, oh, well, you don't need to see that. That's all the, you, you get a bit of a peek into the sort of uh, videos that I watch. If you, <laughs> if you see here, we've got some Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, we got some, what's his name? I can't even remember that guy's name, but he's, he's worth watching. Music guy. Uh, Dave Gorman's there. Uh, got some Linus there from Linus Tech Tips. A bit of, uh, bit of LGR. Anyway, yeah, if you ever wanted to uh, have a sneak peek into what I watch, just watch at the end of the YouTube clips <laughs> as to what actually pops up. Uh, righty Koki. So let's put in there, that was Eric Movie Boff. And that was your tune, Money Like Sparta. And that's in the links below. If folks want to check it out. Oh, I forgot how to breathe there for a moment. <laughs> that's always a bit awkward. <laughs> All righty. Let's go back to the bottom of the list because I need to make sure that uh, we, have, we have covered everyone that uh, I have missed in the past. And remember, if you do send me stuff, make sure that you give me uh, give me some info about it. So if you send it, to have y YML in the uh, in the the subject, and uh, yeah, uh, I forgot what I was saying there. Yeah, YML in the subject line, and uh, <laughs> so I just had to pause for a minute to get the brain back into gear. YML in the subject line, and give me a line or two about your song so that uh, I can actually know what's going on. Uh, so let's uh, let's move on here. Uh, now this one is uh, from our buddy Alistair, and uh, I will copy this one and bring it on over because this is one that was made in Song Timber. I have already bought the tune, which I bought on iTunes. If you didn't, if you weren't aware, I bought everyone's songs that they did Song Timber songs for on iTunes. And uh, now I haven't played this one on Your Music Live. So we are going to bring it up here. We're going to use songwhip.com to find it. If you haven't used Songwhip before, it's very cool because uh, Alistair sent me an Apple Music link. I'm actually going to paste that Apple Music link into Songwhip and it's going to create a page and this way I can play this wherever I want to and this is the link I can put in the description. I've realised I'm not showing you. There it is. <laughs> There's Songwhip. And what we'll do is we'll actually jump on over to YouTube and play the tune over here. And drum roll please. There you go. It worked. So, uh, we'll pause this one, we'll get ready to play it. This is, uh, she, uh, no, she is the artist, she says she is, this is by Alm, uh, Alm, A-L-M-C -L -L underscore A, uh, it's our buddy Alistair, we'll, uh, we'll hit play, I, I, sometimes when you've got artist names like that, I don't know how to pronounce them, but we're going to turn up the volume, we're going to hit, uh, we're going to hit play, and take a listen to this one here live on Your Music Live. <laughs> She is the artist who she says she is 
come for tomorrow and leaves with bliss. A torrent of fire brand that says it is. She is the artist who she says she is. She's gone with the everyday, she cuts through the crap. She breaks conversation, she's done with all that. Mine out of different path, picky and lean. Breaks for a narrow path of light never seen. She appears as a cipher, a larger than lifer, a solid gold viper. She's hard to decipher, a name like a sniper, beginning to like her. She is viper, she is viper, she is viper, she is, she is, she is, she is, she is a cataract foaming and wild. She sweeps all below her unruly and style. She's still on the outside and feeling run deep. Very cool indeed. There you go. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah, very, uh, very relaxing. Uh, great, uh, yeah, great drive. The melody and the lyrics are cool. Very different. Very, very moving around there. <laughs> I'm seeing Paisley says Bubba. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a bit of an, uh, an old school kind of vibe on that one. I really like it. Um, yeah, agree. I like the guitar work going on there and uh, Cafe Cool. Yeah, I agree with that. You, you got to like some good funny lyrics. Yeah, a couple of folks, Michael and uh, Russ, both digging the lyrics there, and uh, it's gone different directions. I agree with that. It's uh, really well thought out. I like it. And what I like is the fact that StreamYard actually shows, like, even long comments, it will show the entire comment, unlike Restream. Uh, so even if uh, if Jay puts a nice long comment like this, it'll all show up there nice and clear. Quite a few different styles in there. The only feedback I have would be to mix those vocals in a bit more to sit better with the music. Yeah, and thank you. I do I do forget to actually, uh, to actually say that and to actually give sort of feedback to actually help folks. I get so into it, and especially like this weekend, I, uh, <clears throat> I may have been at the pub last night watching the footy and having a few pints of beer and I may have got home a bit later I don't really do nighttime anymore uh, I don't I, I'm a daytime kind of guy and I get up early morning which is evening in the US so uh, <clears throat> if I'm a little rough around the edges today that is probably why <laughs> but uh, yeah no thank you thank you for jumping in there Jade and giving uh, giving that righty dokey uh hello i need to get it there grow hello to grove gt teague uh, i need to get a hoodie to sport over here in detroit i'm on it great show thank you yes and uh thank you for that nice segue if you do want to pick up because again today is sponsored by me studio live today um then uh, yeah you can also get some merch so if you want to grab your own studio live today mug or t-shirt or hoodie uh you've got some uh, designs to choose from over there studio live today.com slash merch let's uh let's jump into our next tune did i put that in the list i did we're all good and because uh you have popped up here the way i've been <laughs> the way i've been uh, been doing things is uh, when i see someone's name i'll go oh i reckon i saw uh, a song from you and uh grover teague is someone who uh, hit me up on was it instagram I, I get messages all over the place and just said hey uh thanks for thanks for what you do i've been making some tunes here's here's what i'm doing and uh the the name the name of the album here the musical adventures of quincy phones and i just that just took me straight away i'm like that is a memorable name so uh, i said hey you got to send me a link sent me a link i said hey you gotta you gotta send me a link uh, of which track you want me to play on your music live and uh this is how things go this is the serendipity of the internet 2020 edition is that yeah you can come across people and you can find and discover things that are just, just wouldn't be impossible that there's no way that a, a detroit uh, artist quincy phones um, musical adventures of quincy phones what i would have ever come across it uh, but i have because uh because of the the, the uh, again the serendipity of the internet and what goes on here so uh let's jump on over here check this one out ridiculously cool uh, graphics and album artwork let's uh, zoom in on this sucker shall we there you go the musical adventures of quincy phones and the track that uh that grove has asked to play or i said which track should we play is uh track two transit portal i'll just let me just double check that uh yes yeah, song two uh transit portal so uh let's uh let's give this one a spin shall we and take a listen to the uh, some musical adventures of quincy phones and uh, this is our buddy grove teague on your music live Mm-hmm. 
the fourth uh oh, that, how cool is that so i i deliberately didn't listen to that uh again it was shared with me uh and i, I said yeah great stuff I'm, I'm gonna take a listen didn't get around to listening to it and then i'm like oh, i've got a feeling i'm gonna dig this and uh, i'll listen to it for the first time live here on the show a uh, man not uh, not not disappointed at all <laughs> and he says uh, yeah fries my brain trying to keep time to this I, I love that because I think someone said it was Michael that said, uh, my foot is keeping the beat. Yeah, so you've got that do, 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 like So the foot is keeping the beat there, but then you've got all of those tasty syncopated rhythms sitting over the top. The bass, it's really challenging to make bass sit like that in a mix because it's really easy to overpower it. I think uh, someone here, Peter Jacobs, says, yeah, bass gets lost in my mixes. Me too. I tend to either turn the bass down too low to where it's missing and disappears or turn it up too much so it's overpowering. But because you have those, the, the mix here was so good because you had the tasty little hi-hats in the top end there just providing some nice treble. And then you had all of that nice bass and those low-end piano notes that just complemented the bass perfectly. So, uh, yeah, really nicely done uh, again. I knew because it was Quincy phones. I'm like, I know that uh, I know this is going to be something cool that I dig. So uh, yeah, there you go. I think you've got some new fans here in the studio live today community. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you for sharing, and thanks for being part of the fun here on your music live. Alrighty, let's continue on. We'll keep uh, keep pumping along with some tunes here on the show. I'll pop that in my done folder because we are done. <laughs> Would it would it be would it be a show would it be a your music live? Uh, let, let's have our halftime break here. Um, I think you know who I'm going to play because uh, it kind of wouldn't be a your music live without uh, having something from this artist. So if you're feeling if you're just feeling like mellow and groovy, which is cool uh, because you just listen to some of the uh, some of the some of our buddy Grove there, uh, I think it's time to kick it up a notch um, with a little bit of QB the Penguin. So uh, we seem to have a QB track on every week, and that's just because every time I see QB's name in my email, I'm like, I, I-, I need to play this because there's always something new and different and interesting going on. So grab your cup of coffee, your beverage of choice, and uh, let's turn this one up. Take a listen to QB with Glide here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Thank you. 
QB the Penguin here on Your Music Live. Never disappoints, uh, never fails to take me on a journey that I didn't expect. So very nice. Very well done there uh, from QB the Penguin. Uh, let's uh, make sure that we put that in our list. We did. I already did it. I'm already ahead. Oh, you know what? I kept, I'm sitting here. Like, if I've seemed distracted... It's because I've been sitting here and I've been hearing some background music that I didn't know where it was coming from. And you know what it is? It's coming from my Amazon Alexa. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the volume down to zero there. Because if I say the word, which I already just did, then if you have one of those things and you're listening on speakers, it will start doing weird things and it will stop. Maybe, you, maybe you're listening to this on Alexa. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. All righty. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you for QB uh, for sharing that again. Uh, yeah, the, the shredding piano in that one. Um, yeah, just, just interesting. I love that. that those arpeggios, arpeggios that you had in there on the piano uh, worked really, really well. Uh, and it's got to remind me of some old like Commodore 64 or 8-bit uh, chip tune kind of stuff going on there. Uh, yeah, as, uh, as Tom says here, QB always has those great piano lines that pulls it together. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, it takes, it takes a lot of work. And again, we've got different types of music happening all over the place here, and it is really, really cool. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Tara. Good to see you here. Whenever I see a name I don't recognize, I always have to say g'day. Um, so, but yeah, v very nicely done. Uh, and thank you to, uh, and by Bubba, by the way, Bubba has to step out. That's okay. Thank you for your donation, as always, Bubba. Really do appreciate it. Uh, and uh, thank you, everyone, for being here on Your Music Live, uh, brought to you today by me, by, uh, by the uh, the channel studio live today and uh, if you're not already on the mailing list studio live today.com slash email get yourself on that mailing list you won't miss a thing that goes on here on the channel now uh last week uh, i introduced you to uh, speaking of more artists that i continue to keep uh, to keep finding and and that uh, that keep stumbling across my channel and sharing things with me uh we we spoke to uh well we, we listened to a tune from micah and uh, daniel last week from autism rocks and uh, we listened to the puzzle last week one of their tunes and uh, they've shared three more of the tunes here with me and uh, i asked uh, which one of these three i should play and they said a tune called march hair and this is a song about being a little out of one's mind, which, uh, yeah, I think we can all relate to, especially uh, at the moment. But let's uh, let's bring this one on up and uh, and take a look and a listen here. So, uh, uh, yeah, if you missed last week's show, so Dan Daniel is uh, is the father, Mike is uh, his son, uh, autistic teenager, and produces music. And uh, yeah, it, it blew us away. And the folks here were all uh, were all very impressed and uh, and loved uh, listening to what was being produced there. I've since got and listen to some of the cover tunes. Uh, I think you mentioned that uh, that you did a cover of Kitty by the Presidents of the United States of America and that they actually shared it on their social media because it was super cool. Uh, and this is a tune again, March Hare, an original song by The Positive Autism. Let's take a listen to this one here on your Music Live. Just don't care Maybe Just believe me Me be really Mad as a March hair. I'm out of the tree Don't get too close Out to lunch The crew left the boat Unbalanced is stable Bouncing up your wall Not in my right mind Not there at all Maybe Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm lazy, maybe I just don't care. Maybe just be free, be free, free, mad as a march hare. Out of the rocker, clear of the way, not to the free kick, I pushed on the way. Out of my mind, don't want to touch this. Right in the bend, not caught those mantis. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm lazy. Maybe I'm 
I just don't care. Maybe. There you go. Music uh, by the positive autism. Autism rocks here on your music live. Yeah, just plain fun. Absolutely. You've got to love that. It is clear that Micah enjoys music and uh, Dan, it's clear that, uh, that you do some amazing work there. Love those guitar licks in there. Uh, just uh, just, uh, just some tasty. And, and again, uh, uh, that's the sort of thing that's got a hook that's going to get stuck in your head. Uh, love the video. Really, really cool. Um, <laughs> we're all a few, uh, few fries short of a happy meal. Yeah, aren't we all? Uh, definitely. There you go. You can indeed go over and subscribe to, uh, to Micah and and Dan over there. Uh, rock and roll, a great vibe to this one, absolutely, and uh, nicely done. Uh, yes, love it. Uh, cool cool track, love the video as well. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for being here. Um, there's, a, there's a show, the, the Metalhead Hippie Show, and uh, yeah, I think... Uh, some of your your music has been featured over there for a while. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think you and a few other folks have come on over to check out this show, which is very cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for doing that and thank you for sharing and for uh, for being here in the chat. So, uh, appreciate you. No, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for being awesome. Let's, uh, let's continue on, shall we? Because we've got some more tracks to get to here. We'll pop this button and we'll go boom. And uh, let's jump in here and uh, take a look at who else has sent us some tracks through the week that we need to take ourselves a listen to. Uh, all righty. Uh, we, we haven't heard, I don't know if Ron's here today, but uh, we've got a another track here from our buddy Happy Ron. Uh, I think we might have gone back to back with Happy Ron and uh, Positive Autism last week. So we'll play this one and then we have some new artists that, uh, that we haven't seen before that we're going to feature here on the show as well. But again, if you do want to share your music, email me, Pete at studiolivetoday.com and uh, just put YML in the subject line. Give me a few lines about your song and uh, then, yeah, we will be able to give it a spin in right here on the show so let's uh come on over here we are going to uh to hit the button here there we go and uh, let's turn up the volume let's take a listen to this one it's called i made love to an angel it's from our buddy happy ron and we're gonna listen to it live on your music live <laughs> Wanna be goddess? She only wants you to give what she can. She asked if I've been round the block. I said, Hell, I am the block. She said, I think I found the right man. I made love to an angel I made love to an angel I never knew I never knew That angels need love Like we do Always thought that I was too rough. I wanted to be enough. How could she want one who's so earthly? She always seemed the one. And only Happy Ron here on uh, on Your Music Live. Yeah, it puts a smile on the face, doesn't it, whenever you listen to a Happy Ron tune. Uh, he's always got, uh, yeah, he's always got a great song, cool messages, and uh, like he does have, it's, it's called uh, like Happy Ron's Music and Memes and Inspirational Quotes, and he's always throwing in a bunch of things in there and, uh, yeah, interesting stuff going on there. So, uh, so thank you. Thank you, Happy Ron, for being here, for being part of the show as always. And, yes, another great song from our buddy Ron. Uh, I am the block. Brilliant. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Very nice from our buddy Happy Ron. Over there in San Diego. Uh, shout out to you. If you missed the show here, Ron, there you go. We gave you a spin here. Uh, let's take another look now. Uh, we've got uh, our buddy Randy Motts has sent me an email here. It says, uh, here's a link to a YouTube video that features one of the songs, Nightfall, from my new CD, Awakening. The album was my first foray into 
GarageBand recording all the songs and instruments featuring Native American style flute and ambient infused orchestration. I'm intrigued already, Randy. Uh, first started using GarageBand in March 2020 when me and my wife were social distancing in our RV, our motorhome. Uh, by the end of July, when we were ready to hit the road, the album was completed. I did all the composition, recording and mixing in GarageBand on my iPad in the bedroom of our RV. How cool is that? Uh, the mastering was done by a recording engineer friend of mine who has a professional home studio. Uh, and this is from Wa Randy Windtalker Motts. So let's uh, let's bring this one up I'm, I'm intrigued and I, I love a good backstory like that I like knowing a little bit about the tune before we hit play on it so that we uh, we know what's going on here but uh, let's uh, let's bring this one up it is Nightfall uh, from our friend Randy Windtalker Motts and I'm going to hit the right button so we can actually display it here here we go let's hit play on this one this is uh, our buddy uh, Randy Motts with his tune called Nightfall we're playing it live on your music live Now that is some chill vibe. I did say we get a, a whole lot of different stuff going on here. Absolutely. Very peaceful and calm. I feel like talking like this now. I feel like I should do some ASMR over the top of that because it's so chilled. You are relaxing. In a sunset. In a sunset? No. See, I'm clearly very bad at it. I uh, agree. A great ambient feel makes me want to close my eyes and let my mind travel. That puts it perfectly. Uh, it could be a soundtrack to a movie. Absolutely. It just, it, yeah, it just sounds really, really cool. And yeah, recorded in an RV. I should reevaluate re the studio choices. Lovely soundtrack. Agree. Agree. And yes, we are back to chilling. I know if, if I was a if I was a good uh, good video producer of a show here, I would actually uh, you know spend some time to uh, put these all in order so that we actually have like an ebb and a flow and like we have some progression. But you know what? I actually like the random element. I like the fact that I can hit the button and then uh, yeah something will uh, something will come out and I don't know what it is. I never know what the next track is going to be like. Uh, yes, mellow and chilled and uh, it does. It takes a lot to create such restrained music. You're right, just to have it. Yeah, just to hit the spot, and uh, it is very, very cool. Um, Emobot9000, <laughs> beautiful, and, uh, as is your avatar, my friend. Love it. Oh, very, very cool. Yes, welcome along. If you are just joining us live, this is Your Music Live, our show, a weekly show uh, where we showcase some of the independent artists recording in the home studio, and uh, I play your music, and I do it live. So if you do have a song you want to submit, uh, we have a full show this week, but you can email me, Pete, at studiolivetoday.com. Just put YML in the subject, and uh, a few lines about your tune and uh, and then we'll play it and you'll be able to get some feedback from the community. Not so much from me, as I say. I, I'll give you feedback, but it's more that other people get to listen to your tunes and provide some feedback with that one. Again, I was just so lost in it. I know I should be providing more, uh, more assistance and actually giving folks a little bit more insight into what I think you could do, but... 
but Randy, you just hit it out of the park. It just made me just sit back and, and want to just chill and listen to that. And, uh, and yeah, it was just so mellow. So thank you for sharing. And, and yeah, Jade's got the, Jade's got the instructions there. Uh, you can do that or, uh, or head over to slaps, slaps.com and, uh, and put it in the, your music live section. Hello, Helena. Good to have you on board. Thank you for joining me, Helena. One of my wonderful patrons over at patreon.com slash Pete Johns. Nice plug in there, Pete. <laughs> let's uh, let's continue on here. We got some more tunes to get to, and again, I just keep seeing different people's names, and then I'll just go to their song. So, Emobot nine thousand, because you just popped up in the chat. Uh, you sent me an email uh, during the week that said, "Hi, Pete. Emobot nine thousand here. Hello. Uh, here's a song from my upcoming album, Dinosaur Spaceship. Dinosaur Spaceship is a concept album about life on Earth, and here's the track called Moonbeam." That all sounds super interesting. Again, love the backstories. Please, when you're sending me stuff, tell me a little bit about the song. That just gets me in the mood for it, and it means that I can share some of the backstory of the tunes with other folks here on the show. So let's uh, make sure we've saved that one in. We have. Let's bring this up here. We'll turn up the volume, pump up the volume, put on the screen, and take a listen to Emo Bot 9000 with Moonbeam here on Your Music Live. Sorry, we've had a quick pause. We're back. Cool. Moonbeam from Emobot9000. Oh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I agree with this. Uh, very chill and very spacey. It delivers on uh, exactly what you said. It was really good to have that introduction because it 100% delivered on what you said it would. Uh, lasers and light cyborgs. Sab <laughs> nice beat. Uh, me like this. Yeah, me too. Uh, Helena, Helena likes it. Absolutely. Very, very cool. Uh, mellow vibe. Nicely done. And there you go. There is Emo Bot with the, uh, with the emojis going on there. Again, I, I was sort of starting to rant about this before, but the artist name that you use is actually pretty darn important because it's not like it doesn't actually obviously help the music any, but just having an artist name that is memorable. Like, I mean, you know, people will go, oh, Pete Johns. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, like, you might remember my name or you might not. It's not memorable. Who's going to forget Emobot 9000? Right? Like, this is the sort of... Who's going to forget Quincy Phones? I bet you're all still sitting there going, I must check out that Quincy Phones album because what a cool name. Like, they're the things that, that uh, I think uh, are slightly important. Um, obviously, not as important as the music. You can have an awesome name and crappy music. But thankfully, Emobot 9000, you have a cool name and cool music. Um, and uh, Tom says, not what I thought Emobot 9000 would sound like from the name, but very cool and well-produced nonetheless. Absolutely. And uh, so chill and mellow, good one indeed, Emobot 9000. Were there 8,999 other Emobots before you uh, that have come before, or is it just you? 
<laughs> Absolutely. Uh, let's uh, let's continue on here. We'll see if we've got some more tunes. So once again, <clears throat> if you want to be involved in the show, in a future show, we do have a full lineup for today's show, but you can uh, join, uh, go to studiolivetoday.com, all the ways you can follow me and the channel over there. You can also email me, Pete, at studiolivetoday.com, put YML in the subject and a line or two about your song, and it will be considered for a future show. And you can do just like our buddy Dan Ekberg has done. He says, Pete, I have a new songs with, song with vocals being released this Friday. I would love it if you could fit it into this week's Your Music Live. Guess what, Dan? I am. Uh, it's called The Darkness, and I think you would really like it. There you go. Uh, right, you go. You've got the pre-save link. Oh, we got the slaps link. Excellent. You know, I love me some slaps. Slaps.com. Let's slap it into... <laughs> <laughs> slap the slaps.com link over here. We'll flick on over like this <clears throat> and uh, we will get it happening. So uh, I'm not following you, Dan. Got to hit the follow button there. Give you some pre fire. Boom. And I like the album artwork there too. Very nicely done uh, by our buddy Dan here. So uh, let's, uh, let's turn up the volume here. We'll get ourselves up to 11. We'll hit the button and uh, let's take a listen to this one. This is uh, Dan Eckberg, Eckberg with The Darkness. We're listening to it live on Your Music Live. The Darkness, Dan Ekberg. How cool is that? That had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a U2 vibe, a little bit of maybe in excess vibe in there. Like there's some lot of good stuff going on there, Dan. Really nicely done. Mellow sound, like the chord progression. Guitars were good. Uh, vocals sounded really good. Again, you got that Bono vibe going on, my friend. That sounded really, really cool. The only thing that I, I sort of picked up there was in the louder vocal sections, you got a little bit of pumping there at the top end. So I'm thinking perhaps just in your mix or your master, you might have a little bit too much volume or gain going in there or limiting happening. You may just want to pull that down a little tiny bit. But uh, yeah, I agree with this, Dan. Vocals are Excellent. Uh, Lady Rodeline likes it. Uh, definite U2 vibe, says Peter. Um, a nice track. Yeah, maybe the vocals could be a little bit better. Exactly. Yeah, so I think the vocals there, just bringing those vocals and letting them sit down in there would be a good thing. Um, a pure Nomad says, yeah, vocal styles are tad old, <laughs> but nice enough song. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it did have an old school kind of vibe, and that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, agree. Sounding cool. And I'm, uh, I'm picking mellow tracks tonight. Yeah, mellow tracks are coming through. Apart from your track, Russ, you, you hit us hard with that uh, that dancehall vibe. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, we are getting some nice, mellow stuff. Uh, there you go. And there you go. My, co collaborate. I can't sing. There you go. Let, br bring it together. Collaborate. Get some stuff going on there. Uh, hello to any folks who are new to the channel here. We've got a few folks. Lead guitarist jumping in here saying hello. I'm new here. If you are new here and you're checking out the show for the first time, say good day. Uh, join the community. We have a lot of fun here every week listening to people's tunes. And once again, uh, thank you to our wonderful moderators, to Jade and the crew for keeping things ticking along there in the chat. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's continue on and find another tune. But yeah, thank you, Dan. Uh, I'm now following you. I'll save that track in so I can go and listen to the full version. Because uh, as you may know, again, if you well, maybe you don't if you haven't been here before, but down in the description, I put the links. So I make sure to curate the links and put them all down there. So we'll put The Dark Nurse by our buddy Dan Eckberg. We will uh, paste in the slaps track 
and we'll save that. So after the show, the show is not over. You can go back and enjoy uh, as much as you want. Uh, you can listen to all the full versions of the full shows. Uh, hello, uh, we've got uh, Trapaholics. Hello to you, Cloudy. Good day to you. Good to have you here. Sion, one of our great moderators here, is in the chat here. I uh, hope you are doing well as well. Let's continue on with another tune. We'll come in here to my list uh, and see who else has sent me something through the week. <laughs> Uh, now, we've played Alistair's tune, so we'll pop that one to the side. Uh, righty dokey. We've got uh, Darkos, uh, Darkos Artist says, Hi, Pete. Everything I know about recording in GarageBand, I learned from you. Well, thank you, my friend. I'm very glad that I'm helping you get more music into the world. Uh, here's a track I'd like to submit. I hope you play it. It's called Scorpio's Hunt. It's an instrumental, and I am uh, Danks Kalanji. Cheers. Uh, now, we've got it. This is a file. So, I normally play links as opposed to files just because it's easier, but I'm going to play this one because you've uh, because you've gone to the trouble of emailing me and we can bring it up here and play it. Uh, I will open this one up. Do I still have... Yeah, I'm still showing... <laughs> I'm still showing my, uh, still showing Dan Ekberg there. That's right. Dan can get a little bit of extra love there. Uh, let's open this one up and see what application we should play it with. We will do that. Uh, oh, it's playing it in, playing it in my music here in what is it, Microsoft Groove or something that it puts it in here. Anyway, let's take a listen to this one uh, from our buddy whose name escapes me right now, Darkos Artist, and uh, we'll take a listen to this one. It is a tune called Scorpio's Hunt. We're listening to it live on your music live. Yeah, I get the uh, I get the Tarantino vibe a hundred percent, and uh, yeah, nice a nice groove there, uh, like a '60s spy show. Yeah, I think uh, Scorpio. What was it called? Scorpio's Hunt. I think uh, if you're a, if you're a Simpsons fan, Scorpio. Uh, it's got a bit of that vibe to it, like that James Bondy style groove going on there. Uh, yeah, very cool. Some slight Western vibes happening there. Very Trey groovy. Yeah, I see this in a Tarantino film. For sure, a cruising tune that was smooth. Yeah, sixties James Bond. Yeah, exactly. It was really done well, and uh, you can tell that there's that one flute loop that's from Garage Band that you can see uh, that you can hear in there, uh, which was used really well and effectively at like a nice speed there. Um, yeah, <laughs> more flute. Missed it when it disappeared. Yeah, how cool did the flute sound? That was really really cool. Uh, enjoyed that. Yeah, and please please uh, share that somewhere so that we can have a link to it because uh, I only have the file of that one. So uh, if folks want to listen to it, you can't right now. I'm sorry. So maybe join slaps.com, upload that one to slaps and uh, post it in the uh, the create, record, release slaps group. If you're, if you're not familiar with slaps, uh, let's come on over here and show ya, show you, show you what we got. So uh, this is that Dan Eckberg tune we played before, uh, but slaps, slaps.com, it's made by DistroKid. So uh, it's a, a very cool little social media, uh, social network for your music sharing needs. And we've got a couple of groups in here. We've got the Your Music Live group. If you come into slaps.com and when you join up, you can actually join a group. So if you jump in here and you search, if you want to uh, submit a track for a future show, you can type Your Music Live in there. Join this one, like the 73 folks that are there. 
player and then uh, submit some tunes and uh, we'll play them here on the show. Although, again, we're playing them all from my emails because I've got so many emails and a backlog here. So if you are, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, that's one way to do it. You can also email me, Pete, at studiolivetoday.com. Put YML in the subject and uh, give me a line or two about your tune and, of course, link to it uh, somewhere like a uh, like on SoundCloud or Slaps or a YouTube link and we'll, uh, we'll get to playing your tune. Let's come on over here. So, yes, thank you very much for that. Yeah, that was a really cool tune. Like I say, definitely definitely share that and put it more places so more people can enjoy that all right well, let's uh, let's continue on here um <laughs> Will, willie wallace says here's my newest song blue pill i had to stop overthinking with my music and release some feedback would be nice love it uh, again my, my mantra here is create record release that's the name of the facebook group create record release and it is something that i truly believe in and as a member of the car the card carrying member of the overthinkers club i'm i'm right there with you it took me what 35 years to start actually sharing my music and i don't want other people to take that long before you start sharing as well so uh let's uh, let's bring up this one uh, this is uh, willie wallace again another cool name might just be your name but i like it i like the name uh, we've got some cool names coming in here We'll jump over here to SoundCloud, who once again would like me to uh, try Pro Unlimited. Not right now, SoundCloud. We're in the middle of a show. Okay, it's all right. I'll, I'll check you out later. SoundCloud's got a little bit of a... Oh, it's feeling a bit bad. It wants me to check out uh, check out its Pro features. Let's turn up the volume here. This is Willie Wallace, their track, Blue Pill, on Your Music Live. <laughs> live yeah we, uh, it, it, youtube doesn't mind me having an f-bomb or two and that was my two <laughs> for the show so hopefully uh hopefully we don't have too many more there yeah that was really cool um yeah different different i like it good different um yeah i like the way it kicked in there like it had a really nice vibe good good melody there good combination of sort of hip-hop beat and style but with a little bit of melody going in there well jim sim hello to you i don't think i've said good day to you today interesting piece absolutely a nice vibe uh nice and smooth really suited the current state of the world yeah reminded me of some of your tunes uh, jade uh with the, the the subject and the content there uh, i'm thinking cool fusion ah vocals remind me of a uk band called woo lif great stuff uh, yeah, in, interesting mix of, uh, very different, liked it, interesting mix of indie rock and hip hop, super lifi, lifi, that's a new thing, I've just made it up right now, lifi, super lo-fi, worked really well. Yeah, very, very cool, and nice mix, whoops, missed that one, uh, made it to the stream, hello, glad to, glad to have you on board, nice mix of genres. Uh, I had a question here, it was from you, uh, from you, Peter, uh, would you suggest submitting fully mixed mastered songs or songs that are just done but could be revised? Wh whichever you prefer, so some people are sharing uh, tunes that they're still working on and they want feedback on, that's probably the bigger point of this, so if you've got a SoundCloud link or you've got a Slaps link, uh, others, because there's kind of two ways to look at it, yeah, you can, you can get feedback about the song you're working on and implement it in that song but you can also get feedback for a future song that's going to help you so if you've done a complete song mixed mastered ready 
share that with us and we'll play it and then we can give you feedback that may help you on a future song. Speaking of which, I didn't give uh, Willie Wallace any uh, actual feedback on that tune, uh, apart from just saying that, yeah, that it was really cool and mellow. I think, um, yeah, the, the, the vocals there were a little bit up and down, so maybe using a little compression or automation on the vocals to get the volume levels right. Vocals, like that, it's one of the hardest instruments, and yes, vocals are an instrument, one of the hardest instruments to get balanced and to get to sound right. So, uh, yeah, it, it can be a tough one, but yeah, if you use your compressor in uh, to, to compress to push down the peaks and bring up the lower uh, lower volume parts that can help and uh, yeah a bit of automation there because you're going into sort of a, a lighter verse hip hop and then you're hitting into that chorus just making sure you can balance those out would be cool but well done thank you for sharing and good to have you on board and part of the community oh uh, let's come in. yes jade jade mentioned that she is uh, is right in sync with me because uh yes yeah, as i was mentioning create record release jade's like check out the create record release facebook group and uh post a link to it so yes thank you thank you jade for being there for being uh my right hand person there in the chat and uh helping out and uh, doing it doing it well so thank you all right let's continue on and see what else is here in the list and links um who was that that was willie wallace we've only got a few more to go here what's our time like yeah i've probably got another 10 or 15 minutes in me <laughs> in the voice because we've got a lot of live shows going on this weekend i'll tell you a little bit more about those over the the rest of this show but um <clears throat> uh we've got one from jason here and uh, Jason says, Hello, Peach. I've been a fan of your videos on YouTube for a while, so I thought I'd submit a song to your music live. I record, mix, and master all my songs on GarageBand on my iPad. I have three singles out currently. You're welcome to choose any of the three, but my pick would be Smother. Thank you. Yes, please do the picking for me. <laughs> uh, Smother, the song was written uh, about a recurring dream I used to have. I was attacked by, in my flat and left for dead. A revenge dream fun there you go all righty so uh let's uh, let's find this tune shall we we'll uh we'll copy this one across and we will uh paste it over here um, am i still displaying that i am that's okay uh here it is this is uh jason accordingly and uh look at that album artwork i love it already nice work <laughs> we'll just move on uh, thank you for sharing uh, let's uh no, let's play this one we'll turn this one up this is jason accordingly with his tune made in garage band on ipad called smother you're listening to it live on your Music live. cool is that uh, you were right jason i would enjoy that that's right up my alley and i like uh yeah as andy says here loving some of the dark flamenco influences 
on the guitar. I think that's a really good way to put it. It definitely had a bit of that flamenco vibe. And uh, Jay says, wow, dark and moody. This is really cool. Got a smidge of, uh, whoops, I missed one. <laughs> great, great vocal performance. Absolutely. The vocals are really cool, like really belting out those vocals, that 90s alt rock style vocal there. Stu Cash says, got a smidge of Nirvana. Really cool track. Well done, indeed. Uh, great dark tune. Yeah, metal unplugged. Exactly. It sounded very much like some metal unplugged. And I'm fright. I know that was a recurring dream. I'm like, oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a little bit terrifying. Uh, awesome. I wanted some heavy guitars to come in the chorus though. But, well, maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe further down. It's a five minute forty six song. So I think you're gonna have to go listen to it, Tom. I wouldn't be surprised if we get uh, if it kicks in there at some stage. Um, that, well, this is awesome. I can't sit still. Great drive. Yeah, I know. Some, someone said something a couple of weeks ago uh, where they were like, oh, I like this show, but Pete needs to get a different head nod when he's listening to music. I'm like, oh, I didn't think people were critiquing the way I nod along to music. But there you go. Maybe I need to start doing like a bit of a, ooh, a bit of a Axel, Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses kind of thing. You will be my game. Maybe not. Um, but yes, and uh, Case. Thank you, Case. I don't think I said g'day to you. Our buddy Case is in the haste. <laughs> Crazy moose, loose in the hoose. Um, sorry, I don't know where I'm going with that. I, I think we're, I think we're reaching towards the end because I'm reaching uh, within myself and uh, and trying to find things to play. <clears throat> um, let's continue on. That was Jason, and we'll put him in the the Don folder. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's find another one. We've got uh, uh, Caleb. Hello to Caleb Thompson. Says Pete, long time YouTube subscriber, first time submission. Uh, after being overwhelmed with trying to learn how to use a door Reaper, uh, I bought a second hand iPad to try out GarageBand, and it has inspired me in my music production. Uh, took off and kind of creative block, uh, as it's so simple to learn. Hope you like my track. I have. Many more I'm working on having so much fun. That that could be, I might just like p pull that and put that on my website as a testimonial because that is exactly what I love to hear is that you know, the whole create, record, release mentality and philosophy is to do exactly that. If you're struggling, if you're unable to, to find, I, I was exactly the same thing. I used Reaper on my PC. It was good. It was a great platform. I found it really complicated and I wanted something simple. Got an iPad, used GarageBand, started creating music and haven't stopped. So, uh, yes, we definitely share something in common there, my friend. Uh, but we're going to bring this one up. We've got another SoundCloud link here from uh, Caleb. This is called 88-Bit Single. Uh, really cool. Uh, retro, here we go. There's, there's your album artwork. Well, retro endgame song, 88-Bit. So this could be this could be interesting. Let's, uh, let's, hit the, let's hit the button, shall we? Let's put our finger on the button. My finger is on the button. This is Caleb Thompson, 88-bit single, here on your Music Live. I like it. 
I like it too. Uh, yeah, my, Minecraft vibe. Yeah, it did, did kind of feel like uh, you know, I was because uh, I hear that sort of music when my children are playing uh, Minecraft or Roblox around the place. Uh, but yeah, definitely a vibe uh, going on there. I love the build up and just gets better. It does. It uh, it goes well. It just ticks along there. And QB, <laughs> you're inspiring QB. I should try something like this. I think you should QB. I think you'd crush a, a lo-fi eight bit kind of sound for sure. Uh, well uh, well done there. Like, that was really cool. Again, I forget to give critique and feedback, uh, but that's okay. The rest of the community can do it for me and uh, I can just sit back and uh, listen to it and enjoy the tunes. There you go. Caleb should work with uh, with QB on creating video game music. There you go. We've got a collaboration going on with a couple of the, uh, the members of the community here. Sorry, getting all choked up about it. Uh, let's uh, make sure we have that in our list here. So that was our buddy Caleb Thompson. Thompson. And that was his 88-bit single. Uh, we are coming towards an end here on the show, I know, but uh, my voice can only sort of withstand an hour and a half to two hours. So uh, we'll see if we've got another couple of tracks to play here. And then uh, we are going to uh, we are going to have to finish up, but it's been a blast as always. And uh, the weekend will continue kicking on. If you're into your home recording, please check out the same time tomorrow. We have Home Studio Q&A. That's our Q&A, Home Studio, Mobile Studio, GarageBand. If you've got questions about producing your your own music, you can jump in and join us there, a live Q&A show. I then do a happy hour show every week as well. So I'll be doing some live acoustic tunes, Australian style this weekend. So an Australian happy hour. And then for our Garage Band fans, we've got a special treat for you. Our buddy Patrick from the Garage Band Guide will be joining me live on the show, which is Monday morning or a Sunday evening or afternoon, depending where you are in the world. Alrighty, uh, we'll put Caleb aside. That sounds bad. We'll put Caleb here into the list and uh, we'll jump on over here and uh, and take a look at what's going down. Uh, we've got one more. Yes. So this is, uh, we've got Sick Skills here. It says, I like the show. It's a good format and it's cool that anyone can get their music heard from whatever level they're at. I think it's important that people realize that this is a process and eventually you'll fall into your groove. I promote that and I enjoy your encouraging. I like and respect that. A little about me, I grew up in South Florida uh, where it's a melting pot of cultures. I've been around people in the islands and America. So I was introduced to many different styles and sounds. I'm a writer, DJ, producer amongst anything, lots of different genres and lots of things going on. So uh, we'll, he said, uh, Six Skills has just released a few EDM songs here. And uh, what I'm going to do is copy one and bring it on up here in the stream. Uh, and and we'll do this. Where are we? Here we go. We'll bring it up. Boom. Like that. And let's take a listen. Oh, no. We've got a... Oh, we've done well. You've got the uh, the song whip link here, which is uh, which is what we've got here. Uh, we'll jump into YouTube and we will give this one a play. We'll hit pause there. So, yeah. Let's take a listen to this one. How I Feel. Uh, this is by Sick Skills. Another cool name. It's the day of cool names here today. Uh, Sick Skills here. We'll pause it and take it back to the start. And we'll listen to this one here on your music live. <laughs> This is how you make me feel I love the way you make me feel My love the way you make me feel This is how you make me feel My love, you make me feel so good Oh, you make me feel so good My love, when I'm in your arms Make you love, you can tell me to make me one more My love, this is how you make me feel
Very cool indeed. Catchy synth. Catchy vibe. Lots of very cool things going on there. Yeah, I agree. Lots of lots of people are enjoying that one here. Phenomenal stuff. Absolutely. And uh, fabulous voice. Indeed. Just, uh, yeah, just all-round good pop vibe. Good song. Good tune. Good vocals. A lot of good stuff going on there. That was a nice way to finish, wasn't it? That was a nice way to, to, uh, to bring us out. Uh, Peter Jacob says, good pop vocal. Absolutely crisp catchy vocals there from Dom. Agree with all of that. And uh, yeah, what a what a collection of songs we've had here today. A reminder, you can jump down into the, uh, the chat, not the chat, into the description where I have links to all of the songs that I played here today. And uh, don't worry, I know uh, we've got calls for an encore. Uh, we've, I've, I've used all of the lists that I have here today. We've got some new, new songs that have come in. So if you just joined us here today for the first time and you're submitting a song, don't worry, they will go into future shows because we do this every week and uh yes we do have a good good reminder here from uh, from jay don't forget thomas christ is live today our buddy tom rochelle set your reminder to check it out and she's thrown a link down in uh, the chat there or just search thomas christ on youtube one of our great supporters here on the channel and he'll be doing a live show too uh yeah some exceptional music tonight absolutely uh it, it's just been it blows me away every week that I do this show, it blows me away how well produced and how good the music that you folks in this community are actually producing. So uh, thank you all for being part of it. Thank you for sharing if you're new here. And uh, yeah, if you got some value out of this one, if you enjoyed yourself, if you enjoyed listening to these tunes and these vibes today, uh, give it a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that, uh, well, tells me that I should keep doing it and it tells YouTube and helps uh, other people share it and share this, uh, share this show as well. So if you've got other people that are into home recording, producing music, and uh, would dig this kind of thing, then uh, please share it with them. But until next time, I am going to have to finish up here and uh, go and get on with my weekend. I hope you have a great weekend. Once again, uh, the email will be coming out, my, our mailing list, so make sure that you head over to studiolivetoday.com, join the mailing list, do all of those good things. Thanks for being here, folks. What I say at the end of every show is, please be kind to yourself, and be kind to others, and uh, keep creating music. I'll see you next time.